Hey everybody, it's uh, Claudet Stray from recordkeeperforum.com and um, I kind of have a user request here from our forum um, from a guy named Brightco. Um, and Bright, this is going to go out to you. Um, I know we've kind of had a bit of a communication problem here just because um, it seems like you're having a hard time uploading your images and um, getting them to stick in the forum. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over a quick tutorial um, for you just so you can see what I'm using and maybe eventually you can build up to, to doing kind of what I'm doing, even if your relics aren't great. Um, let me go to my party section. You can see I have everybody unequipped here. Um, and this isn't even a, uh, this isn't a good party composition, so don't, don't pay attention to that yet. Don't pay attention to the abilities. Um, but let's start by just basically going over some things here that you might not know. I don't know if you know them. Um, we haven't had a lot of time to talk, but I'm just going to tell you them anyway. Um, uh, so, so soul breaks and equipment, um, unique soul breaks are, come from relics that go to a character. So, um, I have this, um, Eagle Talon for Hope, and right here it says Hope. He gets Retributive Blast. This is Overstrike Soul Break. And you can see that that bar there, by the icon, right here. Does not is not filled up, so he hasn't mastered this soul break. You can see that he has it right here, right? It's there. I can take it off and put it back on, but it's not mastered. Um, so if I remove this equipment, he will no longer be able to use that soul break. See, it's gone. He can't use it. So you have to get him some experience points for him to be able to master that soul break. Like, for example, let me go to Tyro or Vaughn. You see they have soul breaks. Well, they don't have any equipment on. Um, they've mastered them. And you get a little stat boost whenever you master a soul break. Um, so, for example, Bright, you have Lightning's Overture sword. Um, if she hasn't mastered that soul break, uh, which is a pretty, you know, it's a pretty powerful burst soul break, um, she won't be able to use it. Nobody else can use that soul break because it's a unique one to lightning so um i know in your party setup you had it equipped to i think cloud well cloud can use the sword but he can't get any any he can't use the soul break so um just looking over your party um there are some things that are sticking out here um like a sore thumb to me just because i played the game for so long so um the first thing would be um you don't have a dedicated healer um in your party you have celeste um, and Celeste is an attacker. She's not really, she can heal, um, but she's not really a healer. Um, so we're going to have to figure out a dedicated healer for you. Somebody that might have uh, a party heal, a heal that hits all parties on their, on their soul break. That is something you'd be very interested in getting. Um, I see also you have Zidane's, um, burst soul break. Um, you definitely want to throw Zidane in your party because he has his burst soul break. Um, so, so that that is going to make um, the burst soul breaks you have for lightning and or and Zidon are going to make your team very powerful. Um, I also see it looks like I think you have a robe, a healer robe for Ark attached to uh, Adea in your party. Um, if you put that on Ark from Final Fantasy III, he will gain a special soul break that will heal your party. Um, so, just looking at your items here, it looks like you have. Um, some decent items, but you need to, you know, you, you, you gotta, you, you know, we have to just compose your party different and get those specific characters um, ready to ready for your fight. Um, the other thing I'm noticing here is you have, um, you don't have any uh, four star breakdown skills or full break. And actually you don't even have a um, supporter, a four star support character in your party right now. So um, I do see that you have uh, power steel, uh, steel power on lock. That's a that's a good ability that can actually, if you want to run a thief like Zidane or Zidane, um, you you can go ahead and put him in, and he can use power steel and then something else and his burst soul break. That would be a great uh, addition to your party. Um, so that's kind of the direction I would go. It seems like you have a bet a better physical party than a magical party right now. Um, so um, a couple key soul breaks and pieces of equipment that you're going to want to look out for is something that boosts your party's attack. Um, kind of like, uh, let me show you Ramza here. 
Ramza has Shout. This one. Um, Shout gives party uh, at attack a large amount up and haste, so it makes you hit faster and harder. Um, and uh, Tyro, another very important key when it's Sentinel Overmore. Uh, it's also called a wall. It boosts the whole party's defense and resistance by a very large amount. Um, Ishtola also has a wall. I will show you her. She is the cat girl from Final Fantasy XIV. She has Stone Skin 2, which is also a wall. Does the same thing as Tyros. Um, these are these are important things to look out for um, when you draw on a banner because those are kind of considered key items, key things you want in your party. Um, so, so that's that. So you want to think about party composition. Usually the way I go for a physical team is I go three melee characters. So let me put some melee characters in there. One, two, and three. So I have Gilgamesh, Sephiroth, and Vaughn. Um, Vaughn is kind of a, a support role. Ramza is a support role, but he also buffs my party. So I have a buffer supporter and I have a debuffer supporter. Um, and then I go down here as my healer, okay? She has healing abilities and she's a very good healer. Um, so th that's kind of how you want to think about a physical party. Um, next, let's talk about some abilities really fast, really important abilities. Um, the main one that everybody's going to tell you to get is this one right here. You guys see I have five of them. One, two, three, four, five, Life Siphon. Um, it is a four-star combat ability. Um, what it does is it hits um, unerringly. It never misses a target, and it has a, it, and it charges your Soul Break Gauge. So the more you hit with this ability, the faster you can get your, your very powerful Soul Breaks to go off. For in your example, it would be Lightning and Zidane, Zidane. Um, however you want to, however you would say it. Um, that's that's what you you want to use as Life Siphon on your physical attackers. Now Vaughn is a um, Vaughn and, and, and Ramza are both kind of physical supports for me. Um, you can see that Ramza has full break on. Um, this lowers all of the attributes of one target. Um, it's a very important ability. People will tell you it's probably the most important ability in the game, next to these breakdowns. Um, power breakdown, if you're fighting a physical boss, it will greatly reduce the attack of one target. There's also magic breakdown, um, which I will find and, and put on him just so you can see it. There's magic breakdown. Um, does the same thing as physical breakdown, but against the magic buffs. Very important abilities. Now, here's the amazing thing about this. So I, you can get a soul break that this says, deal five instant range attacks to one target and lower its magic and defense. So the keyword there is and, it lowers both magic and defense. Well, things in this game stack together um, debuffs. So magic and defense plus full break ability plus power and magic breakdown singly all stack together. So if you hit with magic breakdown, power breakdown, full break, and Vaughn's Soul Break, they all stack. So that's four different areas where you're debuffing a boss. Um, same with Shelga and Protectga. So um, Protectga stacks with all that stuff. Shelga stacks with all that stuff. Um, and also, so does Wall. So if you have Shelga, Wall, uh, Power Breakdown, Full Break, and Von Soul Break, those five things stack. Um, so you're mitigating the boss, so he's barely doing any damage to you, and that's that's what you really want to work up to in this game. Um, relics can be important for Realm Synergy RS, um, but they're not as important as having good hones on your abilities. Like you can see, mine are I have six uses of Magic Breakdown, and I have six uses of Power Breakdown. It takes a long time to get those orbs. And to craft them, but it is well worth um, the, the the key abilities to get them to rank three, rank four. Like you can see, my life siphon is eight uses. That's rank four. You can see it right there. Um, Vanishing strike is six uses. It's rank three. Um, so th these certain abilities will really get you through the game. Um, you might not even need anything more than what you see here, uh, aside from maybe uh, you know a cure spell, curaja on your healer um, eventually. Now let's talk really quickly about record materia. Um, 
Record Materia, the two most important ones that people are going to tell you about are Dr. Mog's teachings, which comes from Tyro, and uh, Mako Might, which comes from Cloud. They both do the same thing. Begin dungeons with one Soul Break charge. So if I put that on Aiko, she will start with one use of whatever Soul Break I want to cast. Same with Ramza. He already has it equipped because it's very important to get that buff off, so it'll haste me and make my guys attack uh, harder. So, um, and then usually on my physical attackers, I usually put damage up, um, you know, with swords or katanas or whatever weapon they're using. Um, I usually just go easy and I put the damage up. Um, record materials on them. Um, the higher the better, obviously, but, uh, that's pretty much the basics. Um, really, the only other thing I'd have to say, um, about any of it is just save for imp save for really powerful banners like right now there's a Final Fantasy 14 event going on um, I'll show you the banner if you go to relics over here this button um, and go to this second banner right here um, with the healer circlet this banner is very very powerful if you can manage to do a pull on it um, this healer item is the is one of the best in the game, healer circlet, um, and this magic item, the book, uh, is one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful uh, magic soul break right now. And there's a lot of magic boosting stuff on here. Um, uh, Infilia has a good um, night burst soul break in her sword. She also gets this shield um, that buffs party the party um, attack by 50%. Um, so there's some really powerful stuff on here. I would highly suggest trying to pull on it, and if not, guess what? The consolation prize is right here. Theorist, this is Ishtola's wall that I was talking about, that stone skin. Uh, this is a key item, so even if you don't get the really super powerful stuff, you can get this. Um, I would highly suggest doing a, uh, a draw here. It'll boost your power level, it'll help you. Um, beyond that, just save um, until you hear word of a better banner, or a good banner coming. Um, and really that's it, man. I, I, without seeing your equipment and your equipment list, that's the best I could say is focus on the abilities I talked about here. Um, make sure you master your soul breaks and use the people, not the, not the weapons, use the people that go with those soul breaks because their, their weapons, their, their soul breaks are what's going to win you the game, um, win you against those harder bosses. So anyway, I'll see you in the forum. Uh, stop by chat, you know. Uh, chat it up with us. We'll, we're more than happy to help you out. Hope this helps. Thanks.